Stephen A., what is one thing that Houston is better at than Golden State? Nothing. I can't think of anything. I'll be the first to say that right here. I said it last night on SportsCenter. I'll say it again. Absolutely, positively nothing. Now, I will say this. They are so good, they are so gifted, and they are so elite that Golden State would need to bring its A game in order to beat Houston. That would be required. But outside of that, nothing. Golden State in its A game against Houston in its A game, Golden, State's win Golden State wins every time. It's just that simple. There are things that Houston does better than Golden State. It's an interesting question because you look and you say, well, who moves, you know, who, Stephen A, has been, you've been talking about who are the longer athletes, who are the, who has more talent. That's Golden State. That's Golden State. Who shoots the ball better? That's Golden State. Well, what do the Rockets do better than Golden State, right? If, if Golden State's moving the ball better, shooting the ball better, they have more talent, et cetera. Here's the thing that the Rockets are doing better than anyone, including Golden State, significantly better than Golden State. They're creating higher quality shots. And the reason they're doing that is because they don't have one elite ball handler as the Warriors do in Steph Curry, who can take you off the dribble, just break down the opponent off the dribble. They got two. And not only are Harden and CP3 elite at taking their defender off the dribble, but they're also elite decision makers, elite passers, and excellent shooters. That is something Golden State doesn't have. They have one guy like that. Houston has two. And there's a kind of, like, not exponential. There's like an amplification of everything else that you can do with the team when you have two guys who can do that instead of one. Here's another thing that the Rockets have that Golden State doesn't have. They have higher quality bigs. You know, one of the deals that Golden State had to make in a salary cap league is they had to clear room for Kevin Durant. Of course you make that deal. It made Golden State still probably, although not necessarily, the favorites to beat Houston, but they don't have bigs, whereas Houston has Clint Capella, and Houston can do some things with their bigs, including rim defend, that Golden State can't do. So there are a couple of things that Houston does better than Golden State. It's not just that they're getting lucky or they're almost as good as Golden State. They do some stuff better. Well, actually, I disagree, as we all know, but here's the reason why. First of all, when you talk about quality bigs, that's a misnomer because the reality of the situation is the style of play incorporated by the Golden State Warriors and the Houston Rockets caters better to the Golden State Warriors because the Golden State Warriors being able to do what they do but having the length to go associated with their talent limits what you require from your bigs as opposed to Houston who would need more from their bigs in the particular system that they play in. That's point number one. Point number two, when you talk about decision makings you're saying that Golden State has one but the Houston Rockets have two I'm sorry as elite as I believe Chris Paul to be and I certainly don't think anybody's better in terms of decision making there's a lot to be said about the decision making of Steph Curry not just the greatness of his shot last time I checked Kevin Durant is a pretty damn good decision maker he's one of the most efficient offensive superstars we have seen when you think about role players on their bench the Iguodala and the Sean Livingston's of the world and the decision-making that they're able to employ coming off the bench, you certainly have to give them an edge over Houston as well. And then last but not least, again, James Harden is a superstar. He's my vote for league MVP. I consider Chris Paul to be an MVP candidate, and obviously he's the future first ballot Hall of Famer as far as I'm concerned. But even with all of that being said, neither of them are the 6 feet 11 Kevin Durant. You know, you know, you look at a Steph Curry, even though he's just 6'3", that's three inches above CP3. You look at your third wheel, your third offensive option, who also happens to be arguably one of the top five shooters in the history of basketball in a guy like uh, uh, Clay Thompson. You have a utility man in Draymond Green who's an all-star because of all the things that he does and what he brings to the table, rebounding, defending, assisting, pushing the ball up the floor, leading breaks, creating opportunities, not to mention the fact that makes him a decision maker. So when we talk about the category of decision making, it goes to Golden State. When we talk about the plethora of superstars, it goes to Golden State. When we talk about those superstars and their ability to shoot, the edge goes to Golden State. When we talk about the bigs because of the manner in which they're utilized, it goes to Golden State. 